Okay, in this example, we are shown the transformation in the xy plane. We see triangle ABC and its image A prime, B prime, C prime, and we're told to describe the transformation shown using the standard notation to describe transformations. And if you look at these points, you can see what's happening here. Point A is reflected across the x-axis to point A prime right there, and point B is reflected across the x-axis also, and same with point C. So all three points are reflected across the x-axis. The x-coordinates of the points don't change, but the y-coordinates become negative. So you see point A here is at negative 2 on the x-coordinate, or the x-coordinate of point A is negative 2, and so is the x-coordinate of point A primed. But the y-coordinate goes from positive 5 to negative 5. And something similar happens to all of the points. So we can write this. We can say coordinates a comma b transform to this. The x coordinate stays the same and the y coordinate gets negated. And that's it. And then let's just take note here. This is a reflection. And specifically it's a reflection across the x-axis. The new image is a the new figure is a mirror image across the x-axis of the original figure. And one more example. I think this one's interesting. Here we have a four-sided figure. You see A, B, C, D. And of course these transformations can apply to any shape, not just triangles and not just polygons either. But in this case, the transformation is A B transforms to B, comma, negative A. So let's think about this. The x and y coordinates gets, tra gets transformed into, look at this, b, what b right here, what was the y coordinate becomes the x coordinate. So let's write y here, and then what was the x coordinate gets negated and becomes the y coordinate. So xy transforms into y negative x. Let's look at what this means with individual points here. Let's take a point a first of all. Okay, so let's just write this. Point A, and what are the coordinates there? That's negative 1, 4. So point A is negative 1, 4. So that's going to become, well let's see, the x coordinate goes to the y coordinate and gets negated. So that means in my new point here, I'm going to have instead of a negative 1, I'm going to have a positive 1. And then I also see that my y coordinate becomes the x coordinate. So the 4 here goes right there. So point A goes from negative 1, comma 4 to 4, comma positive 1. So this is point A primed right over there. Okay, now let's look at point B. Point B is at negative 1, comma Two. So let's write this. B is negative 1, comma 2. And so what does that become? Well, the y coordinate goes becomes the x coordinate. So we put a 2 there. And the negative 1 becomes a positive 1. So this goes to 2, comma 1. So let's plot that point. Point B primed is right here. 2, comma 1. Okay, let's do the other two. C is at negative 5, comma 2. So point C goes from negative 5, comma 2. And what is that going to become? Well, applying this concept, let's see, the x coordinate becomes the y coordinate and it's negated. So that becomes a positive 5. And then the y coordinate becomes the x coordinate. So that becomes a 2. So this goes to 2, comma, five up there. So point C primed is up here and one more point D the original point D is at negative three comma four and so that's going to transform into four comma positive three so that's four to the right and uh, three up. 
So point D primed goes right there. So here's my new shape. Okay, now what is this? It's not a reflection because it's, it's not a mirror image across the y-axis because the points don't line up properly. It turns out that this is a rotation about the origin. Imagine the point zero, 0, as the point of rotation. Point C swings around the origin to right there. Point D swings around, excuse me, D swings around the origin to there. Point A swings around to right there, and B swings around to there. So the whole thing is rotating clockwise around the origin. So let's just take note of that. This is a rotation about the origin. And it turns out that this is exactly 90 degrees, and we can say 90 degrees clockwise. If you were to measure the angle between that and that, that's a right angle. And you might be able to see that, because from point C here to the origin, we go down to and over 5, and then from the origin to C prime, we go to the right to and up 5. And that forms a perfect right angle. And the same is true for any of these points. If I go from D to the origin to D prime, that forms a right angle. And all of these, all of those form right angles. It's a 90 degree rotation about the origin.